Hello and uh, welcome to the first in a series of tutorials. In this first part we'll look at how to create an accessible document and in the second tutorial we'll convert the document to a, a DAISY talking book, a DTB, using the Save as DAISY admin from Microsoft Word 2003 and 2007. But we'll be using 2007 version for these tutorials. So, uh, why create an accessible document? Before we begin, I think it's necessary to highlight why it's important to ensure your documents are created with accessibility in mind. First of all, it allows your documents to be read by a wider audience. It's easier to navigate. For example, if I go to View and select Document Map, I can navigate easily, find my way around the document. It's just picking up the heading styles here. Secondly, you're complying with legislation. Of course, it's the right thing to do as well. Uh, but when you have a document which has been properly formatted, as this one has been, it can be understood or translated by other assistive technologies, such as a screen reader, or as we'll see shortly, it can be used to create alternative formats. First thing to mention, it's not rocket science, it's straightforward, um, and we're going to do it in basically three steps. Okay, so this is step one, and we're using the headings, the headings and styles. So let us go through this document and check we have the basic requirements of an accessible document. So first of all, I'm going to the Styles panel and you can see that the heading structures are already there, they're already built in. And this is the single most important requirement. This document contains uh, Heading 1, Heading 2 and Heading 3 levels. And I'll just go into this part here and I'm going to use the Word 2003 formatting just to keep the document uh, simple and effective, but you can see there are other formats and really depending on, on how you want to use it, it's is, is up to you. In Word 2007 it's easy to access and use the styles as they're all on the Home tab. There's Style Sets, the Styles Panel and Change Styles and you can create your own or customise existing styles. OK, so I'm just going to go through here and you can see I'm just adapting, heading, making the headings some, are, some already exist, but just maybe update them. OK. OK, step two, straightforward, insert page numbers. Just going to go up to insert page numbers, and there we have. OK, so, so far so good. And step three, adding alternative description for images. So it's really important that you place what's called an alternative tag or an alternative description of text onto the image. So information that's placed on the image will be carried through to the DAISY talking book and will also be read or translated or interpreted by a screen reader. So to do this, let's select the image and then you can see on the image format tab on the ribbon we'll select size. When the size panel appears, select the size tab and then select the alt text tab. Let's just give the image a logical and informative uh, description. For example, uh, sh image source reception area of library. OK, that's good. Right, the final thing to do for the specific document is to provide a caption for the image. So let's select the image by right clicking or use the context keyboard button. And finally choose insert caption. Again, it's just a case of providing a logical information in the caption. And you would also do this for uh, maybe graphs, bar charts, those types of things. OK, that's it done. So I'll save this document. Um, and you can use this document as an example to create your own DTP. Just save it to your desktop or preferred location and then follow the, f the steps in the next tutorial where we save that document as a, as a DAISY ready or a DAISY, DAISY book. Just one thing I'd like to draw your attention to, um, on the Create and Convert menu there is a Word template called the Word Formatting Toolbar. OK, I'll just bring it up just now. You can use the Word Formatting Toolbar to help create your headings, uh, find out information about adding alternative text and much more. It's in the uh, Add-in section and you can see here just as a drop down there are links to the JISC Tech Disk Accessibility Essential series with advice on creating accessible Word documents, PowerPoint slides, uh, Adobe PFs, PDF, sorry, I highly recommend that. And of course, it's going to make the, the whole job of creating an accessible document much, much more easy. So uh, have fun with using that.